In this video, we'll write the equation for PB3PO42 plus H2O. This is lead 2 phosphate plus water. So we're going to take solid lead 2 phosphate here and we're going to add that to water. Water is a liquid. So we have our solid lead 2 phosphate. We put it in water and we want to know what happens. So the first thing we should probably figure out is whether this lead 2 phosphate will dissolve in water if it's soluble. We look at our solubility rules, we come down, and here, most phosphates are insoluble with a few exceptions. So lead 2 phosphate won't dissolve in water. So we put the solid here in liquid water, and it just falls to the bottom of the test tube. It remains a solid. So there's not much of a reaction or an equation we could write here. We should note that when we say insoluble, we mean almost the entirety does not dissolve, but there's always a very small amount that dissolves. So we could write the equation for that small amount that dissolves. We know that the phosphate ion, the whole thing is 3 minus, each one of them. And then lead, that's going to have to be 2 plus for the charges to balance. So we have 3 lead 2 ions. And we have 2 of these phosphate ions. Since these are dissolved in the water, let's put AQ after each one. That stands for aqueous dissolved in water. So this would be the equation for the very, very, very small amount of this lead 2 phosphate plus water. Sometimes you'll see the H2O written above the arrow here. So that's another way you could write it. But when we put the lead 2 phosphate in water, almost all of it is going to remain a solid. And it'll just fall to the bottom of the test tube. It'll just be wet lead 2 phosphate. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.